Hello everybody, this is Vasvi from At Home Tuition. This video is about prime factorization. Uh, so we are going to learn how to factorize a given number that to a prime factorization, okay? Using division method as well as straight diagram method. So before going on to that, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every composite number can be written as a product of powers of primes, okay? So you know what a composite number is. The numbers which are not prime is composite number. Or to be more specific, the prime numbers are numbers which could be divisible by itself and one alone, right? The composite numbers are numbers which could be divisible by other numbers also. Other than it's uh, the number itself and one, okay? So let us take few examples for these composite numbers like say uh, 4 is a composite number right so this you can re represent as the product of prime numbers okay so i can say 4 is 2 times 2 is that not so i can write it as the product of powers of prime numbers so this is here it is 2 squared right say for instance so i'm just splitting it into prime numbers say for instance 9 you say it is 3 times 3, right? So that is again prime number. 3 is a prime number and it is 3 squared. Okay, now let's take another example like 100, okay? So this we can split like 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, right? So this is like 2 squared times 5 squared. Understood? So likewise you can take any number, say for instance if you take 33, this is going to be 11 times 3. So all these numbers, 3, 11, 2, 5, all these are prime numbers, okay? So you can represent any composite number uh, as a product of powers of prime numbers, understood? So let us just do a few problems like how to find the prime factors of a given number so oh, first let us do the division method okay so in division method we you keep uh, repeatedly dividing the number until you get one okay so here i just take 156 we need to divide this number by the uh, by a prime number okay just a prime number and there should be no reminder. Remember, it should not leave any reminder. Since it is, oh sorry, this is 6, okay. Since it is, the last digit is 6, an even number, you are sh we are sure that it could be divisible by 2, right. So let me start with 2. Start from the minimum numbers. So here 15 will go 7 times. So the balance 1 here. So here it is 16 is 8 times. Got it? Now again, since it is an even number, you can keep dividing by 2. So this is 3 times and here it is 9 times. Now, what happens? You have to divide, you can't divide this anymore by 2. So I just try with the next number which is 3. So that is 13. So 13 you can't divide by any other number other than 13. And then you get 1. So when it is 1, you can stop because you cannot divide it any further. So this 156, I can write it as the product of uh, prime numbers, right? Just write all these numbers alone, okay? 2 times, 2 times, 3 times, 13, okay? Or you can also write it as 2 squared times 3 times 30. So you can find all these numbers are prime numbers right similarly let's try this since the last digit is 5 you know which which number will go in this right so let me take it as 5 itself so this 35 is 7 times so you have a 3 here balance 30 is 6 times you have a 2 balance here so that's 5 so again let me divide since the last digit is 5 it would be divisible by 5, right? So here this will go 1 times. You have a 2 here. 
so that's 5. You have 1, so that's 3, okay? Now I can't divide it by 5 anymore, but I can divide by 3, I guess. Yeah, 3. So 15 will go 5 times and the 3 will go once. Now, can you still divide by 3? Yeah, so it's 1. Here you have a 2, so that's 7 times. Right? Now, this could not be divided by any other number. So I just divided by 17 because that itself is a prime number. So I can say that 3825 is equal to 5 times, 5 times, 3 times, 3 times, 17. Or you can make it as powers, right? So that's 5 squared because you have two 5s. It is 5 squared times 3 squared times 17. Now, the same factorization I am doing using the tree diagram method. I just take 168 and I just split it into 2 like this is 2 times 84. Okay? Now this 84 I can still split. Since it's even number I am going to do it by 2 only. Okay? So that is 2 and here it would be 42. Okay? Now again this 42 I can split. It is 2 times 24. 24 we can split. It is 2 times 12. Again this 12 when you split it is 2 times 6. And the 6 you can finally split to 2 times 3. Right? So these are the prime factors. Okay? For 68 the numbers are like this. So for 68 it is here you have look at the prime numbers. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 twos, Right? So you can write it as 2 raised to 6. And then you have a 3, 2. Okay? So you, you have represented in a prime factor form. Okay? Same way, let us do this 57. I just take it like this. Since 57 is not divisible by 2, let me try with 3. 3, I think it goes. 3 goes here once. The reminder 2. Uh, 24 is 8. 8 and you have 2 more. So that's 9. Okay? And here I have divided it by 3. Since 3 is a prime number, let me circle it. This I can still split. So this would be like, I again divide by 3, okay? When I divide by 3, it is 63, right? Now the 63 you can still split. So that is 3 times 21. This 21 you can again split. So that would be 3 times 7. Okay. So you have got the all prime factors which I have circled. So you can say 567 is equal to. How many 3's you have? 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 raised to 4 times 7. Right. 3 raised to 4 times 7 is your prime factorization of this number. Hope you all understood the prime factorization, the concept of prime factorization. So meet you with another video soon. Bye.